Welcome back to Brisk Bites. We have now made it to the portion of Brisk Bites where we are looking at some quick adjustment tools. You guys, we can see the bottom of the page. Let's take a look at our two easy adjusters. We've got a text leveling tool, pretty self-explanatory. Let's take a look at how it works. I'm going to pull up an article from the internet. This works the same way that our other tools did in that we can use something in our drive, we can use a resource from the internet, but we're mostly looking at text here. I've got an article on the internet and I'm going to come over here and summon brisk and I get my box, I'm going to choose change level. What's really great is that brisk popped up for us a quick scan of the grade level that it thinks this article is. So you can use your best judgment and you know your students, you know your standards, you know where they are toward in progress toward end of the year standards, but Brisk is going to give you a pretty general understanding that this is a seventh grade text. I need this text in a fourth grade level, whether you're differentiating using this as a scaffold, using this as a support for a multi-language learner. This is a great way for you to adjust text in your class to any level that you need it to be. So let's go ahead and click change reading level. You're gonna get a Google Doc. It's gonna generate the text here for you. So now we've got the same content. Students can still be engaged in accessing the same information, but we're not gonna be in a situation where we're all reading aloud together because some students can have different text, vocabulary, those kinds of things. So this looks great. Perhaps I even want to customize it a little bit more. If I've got a student on an IEP, they may need a, a different grade level or reading level, but they may also need it to be shorter so that their attention span can kind of hang in there with it. We are also going to see that in addition to making it shorter, it's chunking the text for students. Thanks, Brisk. I'm sensing you're questioning, can I do this with a PDF? And the answer is yes, you can. Zoom in again, get really, 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 really close. You've got the paper clip up here. This paper clip allows you to access a PDF from your computer. It changes the box to kind of a maroon color. And now I can go ahead and say change level trust it. You don't see see your PDF anywhere on your screen. And I bet you're also wondering, can I make it level up? You bet you can. If you've got that one student, three students that really need the enrichment and are ready for a little extra challenge, let's try leveling this article up. I'm going to make it go from seventh to 11th grade, change reading level. I get a new document and you'll see that it's going to take the article that I had as a PDF, which was a Groundhog Day article, and it's going to level it up in terms of vocabulary, text complexity, and background. So you've got a great way to engage students at all levels with your text leveling tool. We'll see you back here for what could be the last brisk bite. Thanks for joining us.